Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video today on uh, how to transfer and erase your data from a Apple Watch to a new Apple Watch. So what we got here is the Apple Watch on our left is the Series 1 and I will be moving everything from the Series 1 to the Series 2. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to erase all this data and make a backup and then we're going to restore this backup onto the Series 2. Um, so it's kind of a two for one video here. Now, if you didn't want to make a backup, if you just want to sell the Apple Watch, um, then what you can do is go into your settings and then go to general and then go all the way down to reset and then it will say erase all settings and content. Now, we're not gonna do that process because what we wanna do is we wanna actually make a uh, backup of the watch before we um, erase all of our settings. So what we're gonna do, we have the phone. This phone is paired currently with this Series 1 Apple Watch. This is just Virgin out of the box, not paired with anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the watch application and then we're gonna go into the watch that is paired, this Series 1 and we're gonna go into information and we're gonna go unpair Apple Watch. Now there's a few tabs there, so here's a little uh, fast track and this applies to the normal settings in any uh, iPhone, is if you scroll up, so you see normally you see that, scroll up and you get this search bar here. And then what you do is if you type pair or unpair, see here it says how to pair an Apple Watch, so if I type unpair, unpair an Apple Watch. And that gives me a little shortcut into that screen that we were just in. So basically I'm gonna unpair Apple Watch and it says here unpair Dom's Apple Watch. I'm gonna say yes. And then it's gonna ask me for my Apple ID and that's gonna remove it from the settings. So I'm just gonna take you off the screen here while I put in my Apple ID. And obviously I can't talk and type at the same time. So brief pause there. Apple ID is in unpairing here the watch has figured that out and it's unpairing on this side so now what this is doing is it's taking a snapshot of this watch before it erases all the data and that's why we went through this process here rather than just erasing the data on that phone um, now i'm going to leave that to run um, and then come back to the video once that's finished okay so that finished that process um, now that took literally about five minutes, um, four to five minutes. Now you can see the phone here on the left has finished and the uh, watch is uh, still doing its magic here. But as far as the phone's concerned, everything's gone off. Um, so now we're gonna start our new pairing process with the new series two over here. So you can see the series one is now booting to become what will be a fresh install. So this this uh, series two here i've literally just switched it on um, i haven't inputted anything so this will come to the same screen as this but we're going to proceed on now with the second part of the video which is restoring our um our backup into here so we're going to say united kingdom and let that set up so nothing's moved in the last five minutes apart from obviously yeah uh, the trusted drink so we have wine tonight not tea as this is a more sophisticated process than uh, moving migrating over a mac so we're setting the language up here okay so now what it's asking is to open the um, watch application on the phone and then hit start pairing so what we're going to do is we're going to hit start pairing. Now, I do like this process, it is actually um, really good. Um, so, what you do is you hover it over the screen, and then I just felt a little vibration there on my phone, and it says that the watch is paired. So, now it's asking me um, to restore from a backup or set up as a new um, Apple Watch. Now, I'm going to restore from a backup. And now here we can see all of my backups. Now you can't make a manual backup with an Apple Watch. Um, that's why we did the erase process the way we did. Um, so I made sure that I had the very latest backup um, because what we have here are some backups from 2015. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our latest backup here, which is, uh, it's gonna be the one here at the top. Um, so we're going to choose our backup 
and then we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to agree to the privacy. Of course, we never actually read what terms and conditions are. And you can see our Series 2 is patiently waiting over here. I'm not going to share my analytics with Apple. I'm going to share my settings. Um, I'm going to create a passcode. That's asking for it on there. So you can have a look at this over here while I create that. And as it was only four digits, um, I can actually talk and input four digits. But when we start asking for ASCII keys, I'll start falling apart. Do you want to unlock your Apple Watch with your iPhone? Yes, I do like that feature. Um, and then I'll be running today. So this actually, um, this was a Nike uh, Plus watch. The strap is the giveaway. Um, I have been using the Apple Watch for fitness, so that's why this time around I went for an Apple, um, but I went for a Nike Plus. Um, so, yep, let's hit that. Um, add Apple Pay. Um, so we'll add all that later, and here it's asking for my code. So again, you can go over here while I put that in. Um, and then we're going to agree, so it's adding um, the card information here. Okay, so what happens is, is um, obviously Apple Pay is now going to text me. So we're going to say text message here. And then it's text me a code that it's going to ask me to input. Uh, next. Now that's uh, activated the card, so we're going to hit there, emergency SOS continue, and now it's starting the sync process. And now I've been here before, this takes um, around 5 to 10 minutes to do, um, and once that's done, all of my data will be back on the new Apple Watch, um, ready to go. So. Um, that is pretty much the process through there. Um, there's not much else that you need to do. Um, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, and so now we have an Apple Watch Series 1 that's ready to be cleaned up and sold. And we have all of our data here on the Series 2. And actually that was good timing because this has just come up now to um, be finished. So uh, thank you for watching and again I hope it was useful for you guys.